If privacy and security are a top priority for you, the Google Chrome browser is one you should avoid. As an alternative, the Brave browser is one to consider for your daily use. It actually respects your privacy with additional features built in. Continuing our series of browsers we think are better than Chrome, I'll show you eight reasons why it just might be time for you to quit using Chrome and consider using Brave instead. Let's get started. One of the primary reasons many people have switched from Chrome to Brave is because it's focused on privacy. There's no telemetry or spyware reporting back to Brave like there is with Chrome. When syncing history, bookmarks, and other data with another device, instead of it being stored in the cloud, it's stored on the device itself. And its privacy practices and policies meet or exceed regulations imposed by governments, keeping you safer online. On Chrome, if you want to block privacy invasive trackers that follow you across the web and the advertisements on web pages, you'll need to download an extension. On Brave, the ability to block most trackers and ads is built in. For example, on this website using Chrome without a blocker extension installed, this is what the web page looks like. In contrast, using Brave, using their default built in blocking capability, you can see that the page has a cleaner look with less distractions. If you want to see how many trackers and ads are being blocked on the current page, click the shield icon on the right side of the address bar, and you'll see it's blocking six. For additional settings, click the menu icon in the upper right and select settings. In the left pane, click on shields. In the drop down for trackers and ads blocking, you have three choices. You can disable blocking altogether. Standard is a good balance to ensure all web pages load properly and aggressive will block more trackers and ads, but will cause some websites not to load properly. While we're here, it's a good idea to enable upgrade connections to HTTPS to improve your security for those sites that are not encrypted. I keep block fingerprinting on standard to ensure most sites don't break while limiting the data collected. And for block cookies, many people think all cookies are bad. They're not. Initially, they were created as a way for your website preferences to be saved on an individual site, but like anything else, they were abused. The only cookies that concern us are those that follow us from site to site, so we have this set to block cross-site cookies only. Because Brave blocks a lot of trackers, ads, and other stuff from loading, it is undeniably faster than Chrome, and for those of you with low-spec computers, you'll be happy to know it's lighter on resources as well. With a total of eight tabs open on the exact same sites on both Chrome and Brave, You'll see that Chrome is using more than three times the amount of CPU as Brave and a third more memory. If speed and resource management are important to you, Brave is the obvious winner. For more than 20 years, Google search has been the dominant search engine. As time goes by, it continues to get worse each and every day with ever increasing ads and biased results. Thankfully, Brave has come along and created their own search engine. Yes, there is DuckDuckGo, but as many of you know, it's not independent. It uses Microsoft's Bing for its search results. To do a search while using the Brave web browser, just like most other browsers, type your query into the address bar. When you're done with that, hit enter on your keyboard. You'll see that everything is laid out nicely. Using Brave search, there is no data tracking, profiling, and best of all, their search engine does not get involved in censorship. While Chrome and Brave are based on the open source Chromium source code, that is where the similarities end. Google adds on proprietary code, making it difficult for independent security analysts to find out what is going on in the background. Brave, on the other hand, is fully free and open source and believes in being transparent. The source code, which they have made available on GitHub, can be inspected, modified, and distributed by anyone. Brave, just like any other Chromium-based browser, lets you download extensions from the Chrome Web Store. To make sure Google is not getting your data when you download or update an extension, Brave proxies your request through a server so Google does not know who requested it, keeping your data private. Real quickly, to install Chrome extensions in Brave, click the menu icon in the upper right and select Extensions. They've provided a link on this page to open the Chrome Web Store. Go find and download those extensions that you use, just like you would with any browser. Like most browsers, Chrome has a private window option they call incognito mode. Using this, Chrome won't save any of your browsing history, cookies, form data, and other site data, which comes in handy if you're sharing a computer with others. Brave goes a step further. 
In addition to offering a similar private window option, they also give you the option to open a private window with Tor connectivity. To open it, click the menu icon in the upper right and select New Private Window with Tor. Being connected to Tor has a couple of useful benefits. It'll hide your IP address from the websites you visit, and the sites you visit will be hidden from passive network observers like your internet service provider. While this is better than Chrome's incognito mode, it's not a 100% solution to keeping you anonymous. They do let you know on this page if your personal safety depends on remaining anonymous to use the Tor browser instead. The blocking of ads is controversial with web developers and those who create and publish content. It's understandable. Without ads, they make less money to keep a roof over their head, feed their family, and pay their bills. In response to this, Brave has a program that rewards both publishers and users of their platform. If you choose to watch ads that appear as small push notifications, you earn cryptocurrency, which they call a basic attention token. These tokens get stored in your crypto wallet to tip websites, content creators, or keep for yourself. As most of you know, we're not crypto bros and find cryptocurrency to be highly speculative. But at least with Brave Rewards, there's no risk. You don't have to invest to be rewarded. Thanks for watching. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. If you've already made the switch from Chrome to Brave, tell us in the comments why you switched. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on our latest software videos and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.